Today, I'm gonna show you how you can draw zero length elements. Most of the times when you want to uh, draw a link element between two joints, uh, it's very simple and you only need to click on draw two joint link element and simply draw it from a joint to another one. But what we are gonna do today is that to draw a link element between this joint and another joint which is exactly in the same space. So uh, if I go and choose one link element, one joint link element, and I simply click on this joint, you may think that it has connected this part to this part, but that's not right. That's not correct. Because in this case, when you have a one joint link element, it automatically fix, fixes the uh, one other joint to the base and the other joint is connected to your uh, joint. So this is not what we want because we don't want to fix this point to the ground here. So what we're going to do is uh, when we want to draw a zero length element which is normally a link element uh, that we are gonna also speak about link elements in details in future episodes uh, you only need to do a very simple trick because uh, as you can see there isn't any <coughs> other way sorry there isn't any other way to draw a two joint link element on the same points because if I click on this I will have a link element but if I double click on that it won't work so what I'm gonna do is that before drawing the link element you need to disconnect these points so you have to come to edit edit points and disconnect it will make your joint to have two nodes on the same uh, uh, place here these are three because we had one two and three frames coming together so there are three uh, different points here now and now you only need to draw a two joint link element you will click on this part you will uh, select your first joint and then you can also click here and select your second joint. Now you have a link element which is a zero length and that will work perfectly. Why do we need zero length elements? For example, most of the times when researchers want to model a timber wall, for example, uh, they model timber wall with a shell element and instead of modeling each connections, they use multilinear plastic link elements. So imagine you have two different stories. If you want to put, uh, for example, here is a wall and here is another wall, and you want to put a link element between those two. If you don't uh, use a zero length element, it may affect the behavior of your link element. The length of link element may affect the hysteresis loop and a force displacement curve of your link element. I hope this video was helpful for you. Please do not forget to subscribe my channel and leave me like, some comments so I can know what you are looking for and uh, I will teach you whatever you need to know in SAP 2000. So, Please subscribe SAP Master and invite your friends to be one of our subscribers as well. Thank you so much.